Are you ready to start um, getting ready, getting your dress, girl? Yes, let's do that. Let's bring you in here and do your robe shot, and yeah. then we can start getting you ready. Awesome, okay. If you want to come and stand just over the other side of the table, we'll get you done nice and quick, and then you can uh, start getting ready. No, do, I'll do the waist up. You'll be fine. You won't see it. So, chief bridesmaid and our bride in the middle, please, and then mum on the other side of where the chief bridesmaid is. Turning back to face me. We'll do one of you facing forwards, so then we'll get one of you turning round. So, just turn and face me first, girls. And we need Jessica and Harriet to come at the front. Looking very pretty. So, Jessica, you come stand over here for me. Harriet, come and stand over there for me. So come nice and close in together, girls. Beautiful arms round each other, we're looking nice. So just cover your own up a little bit more. Okay, Harriet, big smile. We're going to say cheese or sausages. What are we going to say? Here we go. Big smile this way, girls. Hold it there. And let's do one more now. Just turn around so I can see the back of the robes. Arms round each other, girls. You bring your arms down for me so I can see the... Uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, stay there, and I guarantee about two of you are still smiling, even though I can't see your face. Okay, let's start getting you ready. So we're going to bring Rosie's dress into here. She will shut the door. Once you're... No, not yet. Once you're decent and comfortable, give us a shout. This is the business house. The last hour before the bride gets ready is when it goes from nice and calm to generally a bit chaotic, but it's good fun. As long as you keep your eye on the time and... Get in the dress at the right time for pictures in. We're, all, we're always good. Tag is off. Once you're in, we'll shut the door. We'll give you a, just a shout. Oh, hang on. Do you want these? We don't forget. There you go. All right. I would put your shoes on last. Are you stepping into the dress? Yeah. Put your, we don't want you to put your heel through the belt on the dress, so I would definitely step in first. The thing about being a photographer, you're like, you've seen it so many times, you sound like you're stupid, but it's actually good advice because people have put their shoes on first, stepped into the dress and torn the lining and they get all panicky and it's on their mind all day. So, yeah, really like a, the extra bridesmaid that knows a little bit about the dress, a little bit about the hair, and it's, let's get used to it. Okay, that's actually perfect there. We're just gonna move a few little bits and take any unmentionables out of the way. <laughs> I've already seen Jean's bra this morning, so I don't... <laughs> let's get rid of this. Just one second, guys, just to make clear it up, clear the shot up a little bit. Try and remove anything that I don't want to Photoshop out later. Over your lens the I want. I'm actually going to come right out here. So I'm at 85 mil. I'm right out the door. We've got a lovely shot here. And her sister helping her in. So basically I've gone to 50 mil and I'm just using the door frame as a frame within a frame. So at the back there, I've got the door in the room in the centre of Rosie's head. We don't want any door frames or anything just cutting through. So we've got a frame within a frame within a frame. It's, uh, it's like, it gives you that tunnel vision effect. Just using a little bit of negative space. Again, if you want to sell a spread, this way, they be shooting quite wide. Not getting too low to the door frame. Cuts in to Rosie's head. And from there we have a, a bride that's ready to be photographed. Once she gets her veil in. Again, I'm... I tend to use this camera more because I like the longer focal lengths, as I said earlier. So I use this camera a lot more than the other one. Um, I just love the drop off of this 85mm lens. That's all right. Is she ready to go? You look beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I've worked with David many, many, many times, and we have a good little bit of banter on the wedding day. And we both know each what we're thinking. We both know what we want to try and achieve, so we work really well together. There are a couple of what we call idiots in the trade that just want to get in the way, and it's just a nightmare. But when you've got someone like Dave on site, it makes my job a lot easier because we're both striving to get the same thing, which is ultimately the best results for the bride and groom. I haven't got my tenor on. Oh. <laughs> wow, that looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, is your valve going in now? 
So we'll photograph with your violin. I'm then going to do some photographs before we put your shoes on. So I want your feet in doing some funny things. So we don't want you to roll your ankle before you get, um, before you get down walking down the aisle. So we'll put your shoes on at the very last minute. Just going really wide on this one. So I want to get as much of the conservatory as possible. If the ground is spiking, but we don't really care. You look like you're about to get married to a giant of a man. <laughs> He's a pretty hench. out of the way because I'm going to use that wall. It's out of the way. As long as you put them back, you won't get in any trouble. So what I'm going to do, my darling, is get you to stand over here. We'll do some portraiture of you before you put your shoes on. We've got an hour. We are exactly where we need to be at the time. If you can just come and stand in front of this wall here and turn yourself around so your bum is on the wall. Okay, what we're going to do, you're basically going to stand you're going to mirror me, OK? You're going to point your foot out to there. Gorgeous. Now, from there, you're going to point your nose and face over this way for me. Stay there. That's it. Keep everything there for me, Rosie. And keep everything there. Soften the hands up for me on the right-hand side. Lovely. And just bring your eyes to me. Just bring your eyes to me. Beautiful. You do smile. Just lean that chest forward and touch more. That's it. Gorgeous. Now, bring your face down this way. You feel really awkward, but actually, the body position is perfect. Stay there. Perfect. Gorgeous. Now, we're going to get you to put your bum on the wall for us. And we'll bring your flowers in. Is, uh, Rosie's bouquet to hand, please. Beautiful. Keep the hands on the thighs. And turn your face this way a fraction more. Bring your eyes to me. Lovely. That's gorgeous. Stay there, Dan. Just put your Daniel with no clothes on, please. Keep the smile. That's gorgeous. Excellent. 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 Let's get your bouquet in. Is it a bit wet? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> well, you probably should. A bit more to the centre. Go on. Face dead square to me. Beautiful. Hold it there, girl. That's stunning. Beautiful. I'm just looking down over here again for me. Lovely. And just keep everything there and just let me have your eyes. That's that side. Perfect. Let's do one more quick shot, Rosie. Just so you can mirror me. But okay, just lean this way. So lean, lean this way down this way. So just, that's it, almost come to there. And push your hips towards the wall now. Gorgeous. Now looking over at Dave for me. Absolutely stunning. That's beautiful. No. <laughs> it goes all embarrassed and gets a bit, goes all red. Eyes to me, Rosie. That's beautiful. Let's put your shoes on. You're going to walk through the front door. You're going to see Rosie. And I'm going to do whatever comes natural. Okay. All right? Bye. Wait for my call. You're fine there. Yeah. He's, he's, just, he's just coming back to come through. OK, whoever's got that bag, stand up room, please. OK, Dad, through you come. Beautiful, guys. Just come nice and close together. We'll get a nice shot of you two together. Oh, we got a carpet, Dad. So I'll open the counter. Come nice and close and together, guys. <laughs> That's lovely. Big smiles. Big smile in this way, Dad. That's beautiful. Heads a little bit closer for me. That's lovely. Stay there, guys. Beautiful. Let's get you back out here. Okay, Daddy, you want to come through? They're just going to shut that door behind you.
Okay, if you just want to come through, we're going to shut that door behind you. I'm just going to close this door behind you guys. Just going to do some shots of Rosie. Just don't open up. Just, just, just yet. Yeah, you're right. she's got the beating in there. Sorry, mate. Okay, Dad, you want to come through as well, sir? Just going to do some of Rosie by herself. Dad, you stay as you are, my darling. Just come to the centre of the door. You're just going to turn your body this way, and again, you're going to point your feet this way, so you turn your hips forwards, and bring the bouquet down to your hip there, gorgeous. Now just turn your shoulders this way a tiny bit more, bring your face back to this point here, gorgeous. Okay, we're all right. I need a clear line of sight, sorry girl. I need a... Okay, Harriet, can you come and stand over there for me? Gorgeous. That's gorgeous, Rosie. That's beautiful. And keep everything there and bring your eyes to me. That's lovely. And just with your fingers, just soften your fingers up a little bit more. That's it. And just turn your body to face the, the door. So all the way, turn your body, belly button face. Yeah, all the way, keep going. Square up for me, gorgeous. And now just turn and face the closed door. The other one, yeah, that's it. That's it. And now just take a tiny side step to your right. Bit, tiny one back again to your left. That's it. And look over your left shoulder. Gorgeous. And get nice and close into the back of that dress. And just relax the shoulders for me a little bit more, Rosie. That's it. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm going to leave you in peace for a little bit. I'm going to come and find you very shortly. We need to get, I'm assuming Dan's in with the registrar now, is he? Dan is currently just in that room, so he doesn't need to go in for another 10 minutes. Oh, all right. He can't see them. So you've got 10 minutes with him if you need I'll do it. a shot with a card, that's all right. What's the best way to get through there? Around the side, is the side door open, the fire escape, or? That'd be great. I can get a shot of him because he's desperate for a shot with a Porsche. Yeah, I'll put him through the house. Thank you. What, what's happened there is a string quartet uh, are nowhere to be seen at the minute. And that's a really good example that if you get on really well with the venue, they'll tell you stuff like that so you don't go drop yourself in it and panic unnecessarily the bride or groom. So I know now what's going on. Hopefully they won't have to find out what's going on um, and hopefully the string quartet will turn up um, on time. But the last thing we want to do is go in there and panic the bride half an hour before she's supposed to be getting married. We want her to just be focused on the job in hand uh, and looking nice and relaxed and beautiful for the pictures. Emma, I've worked, known Emma, the makeup artist, for, for years. We go way back. I used to photograph her children when they were this high in the studio. So, again, knowing having, having that relationship with Emma, so we can speak to her about times. So if she's running a bit earlier, a bit late, I can say, can you just hold it off a little bit or can you recreate something? Um, f uh, friendships like that in a trade are, are, are invaluable because she recommends me, I recommend her. Everyone works together really, really nicely, and that way, it's um, everyone just gets on and you, and you get your end result quicker and better as a result. Shut would be ideal, please. What we're going to do, mate? We're just going to and literally just lean your bum on the front of the uh, okay. of the um, what's it called? The, the wing. The wing. That's the one. The wing. Like I'm a bit taller than you, though, aren't I? You are a lot taller than me. Oh, okay. So just come, just come, just off the side of it then, and just square up to me. I want to be no, as you were a bit. This, that's it. Both hands in your pockets for me, and bring the right foot forwards. That's it. Hands back in the pocket. Nice one. Wicked. Are all your groomsmen and stuff about? Or are they? They're all doing jobs. Okay, we'll do a shot of you and the guys with the car after the wedding then, if that's all right. If we see it, we'll just get rid of it in, in post, but you've definitely given someone a cuddle. Oh, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. All right, mate, we'll see you in a bit. Just little things like that, just checking out for makeup or any imperfection, because he's going to get married in half an hour, and one less thing I can do in Photoshop is, is brilliant for me. Less time editing is always the way forwards. Um, yeah, as he quite rightly said, we don't want to be panicking the bride just yet. We just will let her know about the string quartet after the wedding when it's not really an issue. It is an issue, but less of an issue after the wedding. They're here, the string quartet. They're just they're, they're walking up here now. The quartet have arrived, which is good.
And they don't get all the smudging done now, all the candid stuff. Uh -huh. So after them, when they were walking around doing their tour, so I hung around with them for a little bit. Awesome. Um, whilst they were having a few drinks down at the cottage. Yeah, and all we got, as, as in the ushers and the best men already and stuff. Yeah, Perfect. so they were already all dressed, because I assumed you'd done, I saw you going in and done, I've done, yeah, did his prep. So yeah, so, um, so yeah, it was just them having a few beers and bits. Perfect. And then I followed them up here. Excellent. Have you done a group shot of them yet or not, not really? Not, not really. Not by the car? I, okay. No, no. That's all right. That's good. She's all ready. Good yeah, to go. He kept disappearing off because he was getting a bit nervous. So yeah. he was going through a little bit of a wander, which is fine. I think the string quartet stressed him out. They're here now. So. Oh, they are here yeah. now. Yeah, but that would stress you out. <laughs> so Karen, basically, she um, runs off Fuji X-T2s and she has the zoom lenses. So it's a second shoot where she has to think a lot quicker than what I have to when I'm changing primes. She's not as forward thinking as what I am. So she runs off a 16, a 55, and a 55 to 140, I think. Um, and she's just literally now just photographing, guessing the sun, enjoying themselves, chatting. The more we can get done now, the, the more time she can spend with the bride and groom after the wedding. So she's just basically trying to do as much as she can at this point of the day. It's nice because we've got weather. Normally guests will be inside this time of year because it's so warm, we'll be out here and right before we go in for the ceremony, so she's just going to go around and just paparazzi people from a long distance. And I used to shoot on D4S's. Um, really, really good, but after doing this for 10 years, the, it was just got, it got too heavy. Um, I was loaned a couple of Fuji cameras, um, and I just I was hooked straight away, so I just made the change to Fuji. They're just lighter, you can get away with more, and there's a lot more latitude in the, in the highlights and the shadows. The dynamic range is off the scale, it's absolutely fantastic, and they're so... Such a small camera, but they're, they're they're phenomenal. They're really good pieces of kit, and I'm not just saying that, but they are probably the best camera on the market at the minute. Um, the big thing I found when I first went to Fuji and shot the four thirds, oh yeah, you, you, the results are going to be worse. There'll be a change in quality. No, there'll be a, there'll be a, a, a different quality. It won't be any worse or any better. There'll be a different quality. The fact that we can get more blacks and darks and shadows and highlights off it is a, a day like today is, is perfect.